Bolton Beer Falls, show 4581, VTR 5, 24, 2005. You're wasting your breath, Stephanie. I'm not afraid of you. No, but you're afraid that Ridge isn't going to choose you. That's why you came down here tonight. <sighs> Threatening me isn't going to change a thing. Brooke, you are the threat. To Ridge, to Taylor, to their children, to your own children. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not going to let you do it to this family. And I'm not going to let you do it to yourself either. Nice, nice. Dum dum da dum. dum oh, that's my song. Dum dum. Yes, it is. Dum dum da dum. Da dum da dum da dum da dum. Let's see your best now. Dum dum da dum. Da 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 dum dum da dum. Good. You may want to loosen it up a little bit. You look like you're walking a sobriety test. Just, just relax. Save your best for the real deal, okay? Honey, I'm getting really tired. Oh, I, I got us a little pick me up. Nick, <laughs> oh, this is a chapel. Well, then we should have gone to a drive-through. Oh, why are you in such a hurry, sailor? No. <laughs> I would just like to marry you. That's all. Simple little request. What's taking this other couple so long? All set. Bride and groom, I need you at the altar. Dearly beloved. Wait a second. Uh, doesn't she walk down the aisle first? If you want the whole wedding march, it's extra. Um, no, no thanks. No thanks. If, if you want, we can. Well, look, if you want to discuss it, we can move on to the next couple. Are you having second thoughts? Aren't you? Could you just give us a minute? Just, just one second. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Thomas. I mean, what you're doing is so sweet, but are you really... Are you really sure about this? If we don't get married, you'll be deported. There's got to be another way to get a green card. You heard what the lawyer said? You'll have to leave the country. It could take you years to get back. If we do this, you won't have to go anywhere. You're going to college this fall. Isn't that, isn't that what your mother wanted? We'll apply for resident alien status. You'll get your scholarship. Isn't that what you wanted? Don't worry, okay? This is between you and me. And the minister. All right, to tell you the truth, I don't think we have to worry about him. I don't think he remembers our names. Okay? okay. Now, come on. It's going to be fine, all right? Look, this is a moment of truth for you. You know, you have to say to yourself, is this who I want to be? Is this how you want Ridge to see you when he's trying to make the decision between you and Taylor? This place reminds Ridge of his life with Taylor. So I needed to remind Ridge of his life with me. With just sex? Passion. Is that all you have to offer him? No. But this is how you've chosen to make your play for him. We were connected. You know, this is what you always do. Whenever you get insecure, you just throw yourself at him. I didn't need to throw myself at Ridge. No, and you didn't need to come down here at all. You could have waited until tomorrow as planned, but you panicked. That's why I get so angry with you. 
I know you're better than this, damn it. You know what you need? A cup of coffee? You no, know, you, you need a, a flower, and, and you need a, a hat, you know, with the, the thing that drops down in front of your face. It, it, it covers your face. The veil? Veil. That's what you need. You got a veil? We got the whole dress. Elizabethan, toga style, goth. We also got some flowers for you. Rent them or sell them. This is our most popular. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I want flowers and I want photos. I want your best package. Oh, we got a special. Money's no object. I, I want the best music, the best flowers, the best photos, only the best for my beautiful wife. And I want tin cans strapped to our ankles as we run down the strip because I want everybody in Vegas to know that this woman is making me the most happiest man in the world is tonightest. Thomas, wait. Could you give us one more second? Yeah, what is it? Marriage is a sacrament. We're not in a church. This is Las Vegas. It's still a wedding. Look, if it helps, just think of it as a piece of paper. Something you need to get your green card. I can't. These vows are supposed to mean something. They do. They mean you get to stay in America. You get to go to college and make your mom's dreams come true. Gabby, this is everything she worked for. Everything she did, all the sacrifices that she made so you could have this opportunity. And all you have to do is say, I do. What about you? I want to help. This isn't what your parents wanted for you. My parents taught me to be the kind of person who steps up when someone I care about is in trouble. They taught me to do the right thing. I'm telling you, this is the right thing. <clears throat> okay. 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 Let's do it. This is not who you are. Not anymore. You surprised to hear me say that? When you barged in here, I thought... I know. I know what you thought. Brooke, look, I've seen you do the right thing all on your own. When you voted against Ridge for the good of the company and the good of the family, I gained an enormous amount of respect for you. But you've been so angry with me. Because when I see you this way, it infuriates me. I, I, I feel as though... I feel as though you're humiliating yourself. Oh, no. Here it comes. <sighs> Is this really how you want Ridge and the children and me to think about you? Is this the only reason that you want him to choose you? This isn't the only reason Ridge would choose me. But you know what? You'll never know. You'll never know the truth, will you? Not when you pull a stunt like this and try and tip the scales this way. A victory like this is... It's hollow. What you want from him is love and respect. Yes. And mine, too. Yeah, as if that were even possible. Of course it is. I saw you put your marriage on the line for principle, for the good of the family. I'm going to ask you to do it again. I want you to step aside. I want you to do what's best for Ridge and the children.
for my bride. Huh? That's just an appetizer. We got a whole menu of wedding stuff here. Look at this. I, I think this is the best package. Oh, no. I like that one. I'm oh, sorry. Maybe I wasn't kidding when I said I was really tired. Come on now. This is a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah. Let's just not, let's not overdo it here. Oh, look at this one. This is this is actually my favorite. It comes with t-shirts and bumper stickers. <laughs> Stickers. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? We can look for something a little class here if you like. We're in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, Frank Sinatra and Mia Farrow got married here. Elvis and Priscilla. Me and Vegan. Deacon. Well, I'm not Deacon. I know this isn't the way you had pictured your wedding. No, no. You know what? I told you all I needed was you. And the ministers. You deserve better. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you hold your horses? We'll just be a couple of minutes. As, as it worked out, I don't think we're we're gonna get married tonight. <clears throat> it seems as though I left my wallet on my private jet. Mm-hmm. Right. Sure you did. You've been a real doll. We'll do this another time, okay? Groom, take the bride's hands. Look into her eyes. All right, then. Let's begin. Can I just say one thing? Look, I'm not, I'm not going to change my mind. I just want to thank you. Thomas, when you proposed, I thought you were... I couldn't believe it, and I thought you were crazy. I still do. And this, um, definitely isn't how I pictured my wedding. I pictured it in a big church, wearing a white dress, surrounded by all my family and friends. I thought my mom would be there. And when I was a little girl, she told me to wait until I found my Prince Charming. A man with a kind and generous heart. And a man with integrity and pride. A man who would do anything for me. And a man who would look out for me the way that she did. I think that she would be so be that we're together. I know I am. <laughs> I'm ready to become your wife. So you want me to step aside? <laughs> no. I want to be with him. I know you do. But not this way. I mean, do you really want to spend the rest of your life wondering? Do you want to spend the rest of your, your days feeling exactly this way, the way you felt these past few weeks? You're just trying to scare me, that's all. Well, if I'm frightening you, it's because you know I'm speaking the truth. Don't try to intimidate me. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to get you to see this. If you stay with Ridge, Thomas and the children are going to resent the hell out of it. And do you want the little baby and Hope, do you want them to grow up plagued by the same sort of rumors that Bridget and Rick had to live with? This is 
different. No, it's not. Stephanie, Rich and I have a child. Yes, you do. And is that little boy supposed to, to grow up eventually and find out that he's living in a home where the only reason his parents are together because of him? That's not healthy. Oh, my God. That is not true. You want the truth? You want the truth? Okay. Taylor and Ridge are legally married. I believe that they will stay married. And the real truth is this. If he had known that she was alive, he would never have even looked at you. May we proceed? If we're really going to do this, you should at least have some flowers or something, right? But we have a wide selection in, in the lobby. But if we stop again, I'm going to have to charge you for our extended service. I think we'll stick with what we've got. <laughs> you sure? For sure. Very well, then. I think that manager looked mad. Well, maybe she doesn't believe I have my own jet, huh? I don't think she did either. Look, if this was... This is about what I said about Deacon and... This is about us. We're starting the rest of our lives together. And we're gonna do it right. I can't keep putting it off, though. It's, it's gonna happen, and when it happens, it's gonna be perfect. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sorry. For what? You were so excited about this. I was too. I really thought that we would get married. Shh, shh, shh. Well, let's look at the positive side. Maybe we're lucky that other couple took so long. Hmm? Now we can see a little clearer. Baby, I will never regret marrying you. No matter how we do it. I feel exactly the same way. But I don't think this is a story we want to tell our kids. Let's get out of here. Okay. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today before God and this witness to join these two people in holy matrimony. Are you ready to declare your consent? Uh, what's your name, young man? Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, uh, do you promise to take this woman... Um, uh, Gabriella. Gabriella. Do you promise to take Gabriella to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, forsaking all others, from now until death do you part? S son, do you? Just stay out of this, Stephanie. Let Ridge make this decision on his own. And whatever he decides, you tell him you respect it. The way you did today? I'll leave right now. I'll go home. As long as you go with me and you promise me you're going to just leave this situation alone. No. You just said you didn't want RJ and Hope to grow up the same way Rick and Bridget did. Well, they don't have to. They can grow up like Rich did. In a stable home. With loving parents who loved them and nurtured them as much as, as they loved each other. Are you comparing yourself to me? No. No, I'm just asking you to help me give my children the same kind of life you gave yours. I'm not going to encourage Ridge to stay with you. And would that really be so bad? Look, Stephanie, 
you and I have a chance to come together here to guide and to nurture the next generation of this family. Ridge Forrester Jr. That's your grandson, your flesh and blood. Don't you think he deserves to be raised by his father? To grow up in his footsteps? To learn from him? Now, if they're separated now, that may never happen. RJ will have all of that even if Ridge doesn't stay with you. No, no, Ridge is not going to do that to me. I'm through doing this dance with you. I'm through. So I'm telling you right now, I will do what I have to do in order to get rid of you. Thank you.